Hey, this is Alexey from Ace5 Studios, and we're gonna be doing more little particle things today. It's gonna be part two of Bush part one if you haven't watched it. It's gonna be a short kind of quick tip on how to do particles with Murgraph. So let's get a sphere. You'll see my sphere has these kind of, it's not like your sphere because I set it to hexahedron 12, and then I went to edit and set as default. So now this one appears all the time because this is a way more useful sphere than this. That's not a useful sphere. So we got it. Let's make it editable. It's like polygons. And let's say I want my particles to emit from here and here. Looks good. Select, set selection. And now we can add some more graph. Let's add a little cloner. Let's add some spheres. Let's put a sphere in the cloner. Let's set this thing to object and set it to sphere. And let's make these spheres way smaller. And let's change this so it only appears on the area that I want. And also not on vertex, we want them on surface. So it's random. And we want lots of them. So just click on drag on this little thing and drag it up. Awesome, looks a bit like George Washington hair. But not what we're here for. Now we wanna add some effectors to make this guy move, make these little particles move. So we go to MoGraph, Effector, and Time, because time basically applies an effect over time. So let's turn off rotation, so we want, we want position. And let's go Z and 55, and press play. See, now they move over time. So this keeps on adding to whatever the value of the clone is as time travels forward. But we also want them to shrink, right? We don't want them to be just moving, we want them to shrink. So select our cloner, let's add a plane effector. If one of these effectors isn't affecting it, make sure the effector is in the list of effectors for the cloner. So here in effectors, you have the list. Now, so this plane effector is gonna be used for not moving, but shrinking. Uniform scale minus one. And now when we press play, nothing happens because they're all shrunk. So we wanna set the fall off to spherical. And we wanna use a scale tool here to drag it up so the stuff is in the red circle and now we press play and they're growing from nothing but then we want them to shrink back to where they were and how do we do that well here in this spline thing we drag a little dot here a little dot here a little dot here and we go black and we press play and they grow and shrink and they pop back out not good so when we press invert and now when we press play Oops, as you can see here though, kind of big. So let's grab our little plane and make sure we're in object mode. Grab this little yellow handle next to the red circle and drag it in so this red circle is in there. Because the scale works from the border of the red one to the border of the yellow one. Now press play and they grow and shrink and ta-da, particles. But we want more. We want them to be a bit more random because right now they're not random. So we go to our cloner, we go to MoGraph, we go Vector, and we go random. Now this makes them random size, but they still all move at the same time. What we want is we don't want to affect the size yet. We want to affect the weight transform. But right now, if we press play, nothing happens because it's changing the weight after all the other effectors have taken effect, but we want to change the weight at the beginning and we press play. As you see, we'll get this ugly popping, which is really not what we want at all. We want nice smooth popping. And that turns out in the plane effector here, we have to, in the fall off, we have to tick untick clamped. And now, as you can see, they have a nice little bubbly feeling to them. Pretty, right? Also the random, you might wanna change this a bit lower, maybe too much. Because we also, we kind of want them to be zeroed at the beginning and they're not. So we might want to get our plane effector in. Okay, so it's clamped on both sides. So that's slightly annoying. Um, well, you can use another effector maybe to hide them. It's not a big deal. Let's do that. So cloner, plane, effector, parameter, Scale, transform mode, absolute, there we go. See, nothing's happening, but 
we need fall off again. So fall off sphere. And let's make it a bit bigger. And let's grab this inner yellow circle and drag this out. And now we're kind of getting what we want. This one's also affecting the scale. But maybe we need to get the random effector and give it some fall off as well. So let's give it a sphere fall off and make it bigger. And press play. There you go. So we kind of got what we want happening. So they disappear and they pop into existence. And we get nice particles. Now, what we also want is we want some dynamics, right? These guys all, let's group all these effectors and just hide them because we see too much right now. Now, let's get our sphere and let's go right click simulating action tags and rigid body and press play. And that didn't work because it all fell. And so what we want is we want to go control D and dynamics and gravity to zero. Press play. Ta-da, we have particles. Now what you also can do to make it slightly more interesting, or now if, if we turn on the wireframe, we'll see some of them are spinning way out of control and not what we want. Let's go here and go into dynamics. Nope, mm, force. And let's go follow position up to like 11. And so now they will kind of bounce around, but they will follow. Oh, that's too much. You know, let's switch it to like three, maybe a seven. There you go, that, that looks nice and smooth. And now we can just add some turbulence as well. So we can go to simulate and particles and turbulence and press play. And that is what we want. So, oops, <laughs> drag that out of the cloner. Okay, let's back up our turbulence strength like 55. There you go, scale. Oof, there we go. Look at the particles coming out. Ooh, smaller. There we go. How nice is that? There you go. Hope you learned something. If you have any questions, ask below. I'll try and make some other useful particle animation tutorials.